Choose a template that has the dotted lines on it. Fold it on these lines. Just in the template, behind the door lap, and underneath the frame. Hold in place with some tape and pilot drill the holes. Reposition the template a little lower for further reference. Position the hold up and catch the spring attachment so that it's to the top of the door closer. Remove the locking bolts on each end of the door closer and save for a further date. This allows the brackets, the electrical connections, to move up out the way for the fixings. Door closer can now be fixed to the door. Replace the little screws for the electrical connections so they hold them firmly. Take the arm and put them both collars, the nylon collar and the steel collar, through the holes. Then fit the end hole through the arc wheel and the bolt coming through the bottom. Fasten this on with a Loctite bolt. Centre hole, the pinion bolt, is a shouldered bolt with a washer. That goes through and fastens onto the door closer. So the second part, the arm is on the top and the arc wheel faces outwards. Fasten the arm to the inside of the bracket. And connect the wiring together. To find the little notch, tighten with the lock type. Switch on the electricity. Bring the two parts of the arm together and slide one inside the other. Holding it so that this part is parallel to the door frame. Undo the end socket and with a spanner or wrench turn the pinion to the desired angle where the catch plate is in your desired angle for lock tight in it and that is your hold open angle. Now it's all fixed together. If you switch the power off, the door will then automatically close and reset on the magnet. You can now switch it back on and open the door and it will hold back on the magnet on the hold open arm. Break out the necessary pop outs. To suit the handy of the door closer and slide on to place. Secure with the fixings provided.